That's vitally important that riders keep themselves cool. And as we head further south in the Vuelta, the temperatures just keep on rising. And today it's approaching 40 degrees. So this morning we got the inside line on what the various teams do to keep their riders cool. So we use uh, water obviously because they'll drink a lot of water with all the gels and everything else they take. But also for um, hydration, to keep them hydrated better, we use uh, the electrolyte mixes with all the salts and that they use during the day. Um, and then after this, to keep them cold, we take uh, stockings and cut them in two basically and put some ice inside. You take some ice, put it inside, like this, maybe one more, like this, tie a knot on the top, and then maybe use it even for the start, for the start, put it right behind your neck, down the back of the jersey, uh, just to keep the neck cool and keep the temperature down of the body. So yeah, during the day in the car, they'll take these also from the, from the director. And maybe also in the finish, they won't need them because they're pretty high up. But it's all about keeping the body cold, as cold as possible, so you don't overheat. You know, you've got a team of nine riders. How many bottles would you go through on a day like this, on a stage of, say, 160K, obviously in these, this sort of heat? I think the riders will go through. It's a short stage today. They have two bottles at the start, two at the feed zone from us. And then they'll have some at the very finish. During the same time, they'll also have, they'll take from the first car maybe about four or five bottles each, depending on the size of the road, if there's time to go back and get it. Back and they'll drink maybe about, maybe 10 bottles today. So we prepared yesterday or today in the morning already 350 bottles, like more than 150 per car. So that's mean, yeah, approximately something like this. And then at the feed zone we have a top up for the first car, so 100 bottles more. So we have like with a blue top, this is water, and then the mix is with the orange top, no? Okay, it will have something special, like fish oil stuff, but the rest of the team, they just use like a normal orange top. This is this one, it's from Gatorade, it's very nice, like sugars and salt and everything inside, so it's really good one. They have like a really thin light jersey and I don't know, they use sun cream, but they just have to drink a lot. That's the best way to cool down the body. For the finish, we prepare like a hydration drink. We do like a half pineapple juice with mixed with water or get ready to prepare a special grape juice with uh, water. So this one is probably the best one. So we just give them this at the finish line. Every, every morning we, uh, we take a, a urine test of every, all the riders to test our hydration, so we, we monitor it and uh, so if someone's getting too dehydrated, we already know about it and we can deal with it before the race. Uh, first thing we do is drink a lot of water, uh, a lot of electrolytes. Uh, the team also gives us ice socks during the race, feeds them, we go back to the cars and just put it back on our back and it helps keep the core temperature a little bit cooler. Uh, I look at drinking two to three bottles an hour, I'd say, on a really hot day like today. On a cool day, you only drink one, which is 500 mils an hour. Um, yeah, and then you have things like ice socks, so a woman's stocking filled with ice to go down your back or in your shorts or wherever you feel hot. Um, but a lot of it's done beforehand, so trying to keep cool before the stage, so then your body temperature rises more slowly. So things like cold shower in the morning can help, cold shower after the stage to cool down immediately and help your body recover. I normally uh, pack the family up in the car and uh, grab a chilli bin full of beer and head to the beach. Some bananas, some uh, cliff bars, some gels, you know, and a little map.